Hello, I had a request on my channel to do a, a video about careers. Um, if you're thinking about doing BTEC Applied Science, or maybe you're doing it now, what kind of careers might it lead to? What kind of jobs? What kind of uh, university courses, etc.? So it's not going to answer all of your questions, but hopefully it will be of some use. It will give you some ideas. Now, I'm going to start with some really basic stuff. Perhaps you're a, a secondary school student at the moment. You're doing your GCSEs and you don't know what to do next. Secondary education, that's level two. GCSEs are level two. When you've got your GCSEs, then you do level three courses. Level three, we're talking A-levels and BTECs. They are level three. Uh, when you've finished your level three courses, you may go and do an apprenticeship uh, with a company. You may join some kind of organization like the police or the army or the navy or lots of other things. You may get a job. That happens. Uh, a lot of students go on and do level four and level four is university. That is higher education. College is further education, university is higher education. And you may well do a degree, or you might do something called a higher or a degree apprenticeship, which would be more vocational. Um, a few very important points. Uh, you must pass English and maths. They are so important. If you don't pass your English and maths, then when you go to college, you're going to have to do them again. Uh, and you're going to have to keep doing them again until you pass them, until you're 18. So do your very, very best to pass English and maths. Uh, to do A-levels, you need at least five good GCSEs. And a good GCSE is usually level five. Level five is a good GCSE. So to do any A-levels, you need five level fives. And to do some subjects, for example, maths, physics, chemistry, it depends on the college, but you would need level six at GCSE. So if you don't get lots of level sixes, then that's gonna restrict your choices quite a bit. To do BTEC courses, uh, they're usually easier to get onto. I've done a, another video about that, which was a little controversial, but whatever. Now, um, what are the different kinds of BTEC qualifications? Extended certificate is worth one A level. Diploma is worth two A levels. Extended diploma is worth three A levels. If you go to a college which does extended diploma, then that is all of your timetable for two years doing this extended diploma. If you did extended certificate, then you might do it with two other BTECs or another BTEC and an A level or two A levels, something like that. It might be a mixed course. Um, if you want to do something scientific-ish, in higher education, what subjects should you take with your applied science? Well, get a prospectus for a college that you're interested in. Look through it, things like biology, chemistry, um, psychology, engineering, sociology, um, health and social care, sports science. The, there's lots of subjects which would go together nicely, which would lead into, for example, a kind of scientific, maybe health related course in higher education. Um, what higher education courses do applied science, does applied science typically lead to? So here's a list, have a read through the list for yourself. I'm not gonna read them all out. If you want to do medicine, could you bear in mind, and again, this was a little controversial, there was a lot of people had some, a bit confused about this. You must do A-level chemistry, okay? Uh, some universities 
won't take B techs for medicine. In fact, most of them, they'll want A levels, they'll want very high grade A levels as well. Definitely chemistry, okay? If you want to do engineering, then you should really be doing B tech engineering as well, or A level physics and maths, physics and maths. Okay, so there are some restrictions. For example, you know, there's quite a few of my students usually interested in going into nursing. So just as an example, let's look at nursing. I want to become a nurse. What grades will I need? Well, typically, typically 120 UCAS points, although there's a lot of variation for between universities. Kind of A-level equivalent, BBC, BCC, uh, BTEC, DDM. DMM, depends on the university. Some of the top universities might insist on A-level chemistry, but most of them won't, okay? What you should do definitely is do your own research. Don't just rely on this video. Get on the internet, find a, a university that you fancy going to, maybe a local university, one not too far away, uh, search, go on their website, search nursing entry requirements, have a look, what are they asking for? And remember, there's lots of different types of nursing. There's um, general nursing, there's midwifery, children's nursing, mental health nursing, physiotherapy, speech therapy, radiography, lab science, and lots of others. Uh, another important thing get yourself to a few open days all of these universities have open days and it will open your eyes to the um what's available okay definitely get yourself along to an open day do some research